Thank you very much for coming. Thanks, Alice. Hi, everyone. I'm Roz, and um, I'm a, pretty much a um, abstract um, Australian landscape painter. And uh, I'm lucky. This is my fourth exhibition here in in um, the Art Geo Awards, which has been great. Um, you probably know that I love rocks, and rocks are my thing. And in the past, where well, I have I've painted big rocks that balance on each other and I explore that idea of tension and erosion and balance. But I have sort of moved away now, I've certainly gone into a lot more colour um, and a lot more of the landscape. Um, so this one here is a oil on canvas. This is a place called Waichinikup, Waichinikup Beach, I don't know if anyone knows. It's a place down near Albany which I, is uh, a spot I often paint in. And um, yeah, what can I tell you about it? It's a beautiful harbour, it's a natural harbour, so it's very protected and it's got that great landscape that I like, which shows the balance between where often land hits water or land hits sand. I like that uh, convergence of different uh, parts of the landscape. I like really old landscapes, so I often paint up in the Pilbara, um, Northern Territory, and during the last year, it's been WA. <laughs> um, what else can I tell you about my paintings? Yeah, they're a lot more colorful probably than I have had in the past. And I still like that idea of balance and erosion. So I like that erosive nature in the background and that probably the, the rocks and the tension and uh, you know, incorporating that balance within my paintings as well. They're done in a lot of layers, so um, I don't do a one-off painting. They're <laughs> torturous at times. Um, yeah, any questions? Why do you think um, you, they're more colourful than they used to be? Yeah, probably in the past, even though I painted rocks, I, I tended to paint them in those earthy browns, granite colours. And they, you know, you could see them as rocks, and then the, and they were balancing. But now, I, I, yeah, that colour, and I tend to be right out there in in immersing myself in the colour of the backgrounds. It's not just the rocks; it's it's everything around it as well now. And most of my paintings now are quite big, big paintings. They're a, a, a similar format that I do on these ones. Um, like I said, normally I wouldn't have had a lot of sea in my paintings. They were the Pilbara, the Kimberley, um, Gascoigne Way. Um, but yeah, I am, I'm really enjoying that, having that water as a sort of a counterbalance. Um, and... How long have you been painting for? Ah, uh, Martina, oh, a long time, yeah. But probably only full time for the last oh, eight years, I suppose, yeah. Do you find that your, the style of painting has changed? Definitely changed, yeah. I definitely had a, um, a very almost graphic look to my paintings initially. They were those balancing rocks that were a bit brutal. They're yes. certainly softening up over time. Maybe that's me as well, I don't know. I have to Do ask my husband. painters that influence you or nature or anything in particular? I'm drawn to a lot of, you know, Australian um, painters that have that beautiful painterly, you know, the Guy Gray Smiths and and even John Olsen and um, a lot of those, uh, Robert Juniper, those big beautiful Australian paintings that you, you know where you are, you know that you're in, in Australia, you can't, you can't mistake the fact that uh, it's an Australian, Australian colours. Um, I have um, had a lot of um, people in the past from overseas and they are, they are um, drawn to Australian colours, you know, those colours they just don't see it elsewhere. So, yeah, they have gone to weird, some weird and wonderful places. Yeah. Um, going back to something of earlier words, which I remember the word models um, symbolic mm. and, and, and took up your composition and you sort of shift, you can still see evidence of that in your work, but you've sort of shifted more to taking more of the landscape 
that? Yeah, yeah. Is, is there a reason for that shift? I don't know if there was a, a conscious reason for it. Um, I had a big trip probably a year and a half ago where I spent a bit of time up in the Northern Territory, Ross River, painting in situ there in some of the gorges. And it was really hard to ignore what was behind you and around you. So it probably started around that time. And then, yeah, I mean, every so often I do, I, I do that, you know, um, caging in, I suppose, of, of, of condensing some of the landscape back to rock, but not so much these days, yeah. Yeah, and it's, and it's really nice, you know, if I was to look over the four years that I've done here at the Art Geo exhibitions, you can see, it's, it's like having a little time, time capsule of seeing how you do actually progress. Yeah, and I, I think we all do that. We all change, we all change how we do our techniques and that, but still that idea of erosion, balance, and that, uh, that feeling of time as an ancient land, I think has still always been there. You know, I, I'm still attracted to landscapes that are actually old and worn. Mm. Hey, that's, that's okay. funny. Thanks, thanks guys. Thanks, thank you. <laughs>